man holy cow man this camera is crazy man but welcome back to another video it is your boy mouse um man drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this camera so my wife actually bought me an iphone 14 pro max if that's what it's called for valentine's day and um, i really bought it so i can do a lot of youtube shorts now um and you know my tiktok and instagram and follow my instagram so you can stay notified every time we drop some videos uh, Instagram's right here. Of course, it is in the, the description of the video as, as well as my other channel link. So subscribe to that. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the video quality. I'm just looking at myself through the phone right now and it looks crazy. Like it's, it's different compared to like my actual camera. Uh, dang, I'm, I'm tripped out right now. made it to Home Depot. Let me show you something real quick. Man, this is the definition of a war truck right here. This is what I wish one day we could be pulling up in. Dually. Man, nice wheels. Man, one day, one day, guys, man, we're going to be pulling up to Home Depot like this, picking up some wood to go back and build a badass build, man. But for now, we just got to keep manifesting our dream. We got to keep on grinding. We got to keep dropping these videos. But now, man, we at Home Depot. So let's go inside here and see what they talk about. Grab these little two sheets of wood and man, get back on the grind. Okay, so we got a three quarter inch MDF two by four to make the six tens, but they don't have no quarter inch um, MDF, but I do have a big old sheet of half at the crib. So instead of making the bottom parts of it quarter inch, I'm just gonna make them half with the inner rings half as well too, so they're, they're nice and strong. Make the bottom parts where the seat speaker sits um, quarter inch, but there's not gonna be not enough wood for that screw to grab to keep them, you know, in place. So I think we're better off just going the extra mile and making them halves on the bottom so they're really sturdy and them, them screws have something to grab on. Now I wanna get a router bit because my router bit that I got, um, like right here on the blade tooth like there's a chip on it so um i don't want it to interfere while we're making rings i mean i just want to make solid passes so i really need to get a router bit it's a shame that the rings didn't come through but man like i said what can you do um the custom world is not perfect so but we got the solution here and down there and we're gonna make it work a few moments later man this video is crazy man i love this new phone okay so man your boy was brainstorming on the way home trying to figure out a way how to make these rings work so i actually came up with somewhat a small solution so the piece of three quarter inch wood i just bought i really don't need it i'll probably return it but so hear me out hear me out drop down in the comments i could be wrong but tell me if this is a good plan guys so what i'm going to do um in this lip i'm going to staple the rings down I am gonna cut a good chunk of this inner out. Then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna router it out so the speaker hole cutout is there. Then I'm gonna come back and router the outer edge. Um, and then the baffle, I guess you wanna call it, where the speaker, re the speaker is gonna sit on is gonna be this half inch piece of wood. So then I am gonna come back here and I am gonna cut a lot of this uh, half inch extra on this ring off then I'm gonna come back and set my router and flush cut it all the way up to the edge you follow me so then the ring that we actually just got done cutting out uh, we're gonna overlay it and it's gonna be the same diameter from you know on the outside and it's gonna be the same diameter in this side but it's gonna get stapled from the back so it has more of a lip for the screws to grab on versus something like this that I originally wanted to do. And then, so that's gonna give us our clearance. Um, so then we'll say, for example, that the basket is like a quarter. Since this is three quarter, we're left with a half inch is what exactly what we need because we need to make these rings out of half inch so we can come in there and router them out. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of the idea. I'm actually just gonna go with it and I'm gonna get it done. And I feel it will be a lot faster versus me trying to cut out all new six inch rings, all new this and all new that. 
I'm actually going to end up doing is I am going to double up uh, rings, these quarter inch rings. So my uh, bearing, if that's what you want to call it, has more of a guide to run across versus just a quarter. So now it's running up against a half inch. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to staple a glue, of course, so it stays in place really good. Staple it in place. Let that dry for a moment while I cut these rings out. And then I can just come back and staple these guys on here. Router out the holes first, the cutouts first, and then cut out a majority of the trunk out. So then we can just barely skim the flush uh, router bit on it. And then I think we have solved our problems with the rings. Your boy ain't gonna let no rings, no wood rings beat me. You feel me? I am gonna try to make this work. You know, we're gonna make it work. All right, so you see guys, this is exactly what we need. You see that lip inside there? Uh, so now let's pretend. Let's pretend this is the ring and this is the insert and it's half inch. Uh, we just insert it right there and then look how much uh, gap we have. So that should be plenty enough for the speaker basket to sit and give us a nice thickness. Um, so it's, it's dead on and then now we can actually router this ring out and then we can put that chamfer inside it what the customer is looking for exactly and man we're, we're good we didn't have to order new rings or nothing we just had to sit and think and man they're in there All right, so this is the ring we fabricated and this is the inner insert ring and you see how it has like a chamfer on it. Uh, so it just goes inside here and you know, it's gonna get pressed on. Let me go get a speaker so we can see what it looks like. With the okay, so now we have our speaker ring and you see how it's sitting. And now we put our inner ring and look, um, there is like a baby gap, but once we have thickness of vinyl um, and everything's already set in place. That's all gonna be like nice and flush. So that's gonna be the outcome of today's video. Very nice ring. Let me know what you guys think in the, the comments. From what we were working earlier, where the rings were not even 
what we wanted versus what they are right now, man, we're good. We're, we're doing forward progress. All right, gang, I think we're gonna come to an end right here, man. Your boy has to go pick up his son from daycare. Then we gotta bust a few missions. But before that, man, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. Edit this video for you guys tonight. Watch it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of the video quality today off the iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro Max, man. I love it, man. We're gonna take the videos to the next level with this guy. But for now, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.